Hi, my name is Greg Schneid, Regional Sales Manager for Acquire. Today I want to take a few minutes to show you how to import a sample data sheet, today a CSV file, and import it into Org Publisher. So the first thing we're going to look at when we open up Org Publisher is some options about what we would like to do. Today we're going to run the new chart wizard and have it walk us through the steps of how to uh, bring data into Org Publisher. Next it's going to provide us with two options, whether we're going to create an org chart or a succession planning chart. Today we're just going to focus on our organizational chart, but in the future, look out for videos discussing how to create a succession planning chart as well. So we'll hit next, and it'll ask us to select a data source. Today, like I mentioned, we're going to bring in a CSV file, so we'll hit this text file on the top here. Also important to note is that you can bring in multiple data sources to Org Publisher, so if you have multiple systems of record for your personnel data, you can bring both of those sources in at the same time and set, up, set them up on an automation schedule. Also, there's an ODBC database and an XML file option for bringing your files in. So we'll hit next, and it's going to ask us to locate our text file on our computer. So we'll hit the Browse button. Now that we've located the file on my desktop, we'll hit Martin Inc. and hit the Open button. That's going to bring the spreadsheet into the database, and once we hit Next, we'll see a snapshot of the data that we're bringing in from that CSV file. This way we can go through and just check real quickly to make sure that the data that's coming in is in the correct format. So we're also going to want to hit the row, first row contains column names button at the top here to signify that the first, col or first row of data in our spreadsheet is actually just titles and it's not data itself. Now we'll hit the next button and it's going to ask us whether we want to use the standard or publisher field order or specify a custom field order. In most cases, the data you're bringing in from your systems of records is not going to be in this uh, correct standard or publisher field order initially. So we'll use the Specify Custom Field Order button and we'll map those fields together. And we'll hit the Next button, and now it's going to bring us up to our custom field mapping screen. So we'll go through and bring a few of these fields into the system, including parent box ID and box ID. Those two fields are what are required to create the hierarchy the parent box ID being the supervisor to the box ID. Typically these are numerical fields such as an employee ID to create that hierarchy. We'll bring in a few other fields such as box title and this is typically a department that will be displayed on the top of the chart box. We'll also want to bring in record type. What this is showing us is the difference between our regular employees, our managers, our assistants, our contractors, um, just so you can apply some additional formatting within Org Publisher to be able to distinguish those types of employees if you wish. It's also good for employee counts as well, so you know how many contractors you have, how many assistants you have, and so on. We're also going to want to bring in our first and last names, so we'll do that over here. So first we'll select the last name, and then we'll select the first name. Generally, we bring those in as separate data types in order to be able to do some formatting within Org Publisher as far as, well maybe you just want to display the first name or just solely the last name. So now we'll scroll down, we'll bring in the job title and the email address and then we'll move forward and actually look at our completed org chart. So we'll bring in our job title and then we'll scroll all the way to the end and find our email address and bring that in and that's going to come in as a custom field since email address is not one of the standard Org Publisher fields. So we'll hit next, and now it's going to ask us if we'd like to launch the style wizard. If we don't, it's just going to bring up a plain black and white org chart, but we're going to actually go through and launch the style wizard and see what that can do. So we'll hit next. This is the style wizard. It's going to ask us to go through and, be, and put some templates to our data. Now it's going to ask us whether we're going to create a new style or add this to an existing style. Today we're just going to focus on the new style. And we'll hit next. Now it's going to ask us to name it. So if we had a chart that was showing headcount, span of control, layers, or any other type of metrics, we could name this chart specifically after what we were trying to show. In this demo example, we're just going to keep it as new style and hit next. Now it's going to ask us whether we want to select a chart design template or use the wizard. We're just going to select the chart design template and move forward. Now it's going to ask us whether we would like a just a chart only or if we want some of the other views available when we open the chart initially. Typically you have a chart and a profile view that open up, but there's also other options including charts and graphs or a directory view only. So we'll hit the chart with the profile view and hit next. 
And now we're going to select a predefined template with some color schemes and some different formats for our boxes to apply to our data. Once we go in and create this, we can still go back through and change the colors of the boxes, the size of the boxes, and you can also add logos and things like that. Uh, but this is just a good starting point as far as putting some formatting into your boxes. So we'll select one that looks good, hit next, and finish our template. And now that we'll see, we have a good looking organizational chart displaying all of our information from that CSV file. To learn more or to see a demo, please visit www.acquire.com. That's A Q U I R E.com. Thanks for watching.